Uh, yes, uh, so welcome to uh, this is uh, lesson number five uh, with regards to mobile application development for digital agricultural revolution. Uh, so uh, if you remember, uh, we had our introduction session uh, and then we came to lesson number two, three, four. Uh, where we also, uh, I also introduced the uh, competition for developing uh, mobile apps for uh, agriculture covering different topics. Uh, for example, drip irrigation, uh, land management, uh, soil, uh, uh, water management, uh, uh, crop yield prediction, and uh, many uh, others. So today we are going to cover the uh, widgets and the workflow of flutter uh, animation. So we cover uh, types, different types of widgets, uh, ranging from stage for stateless widgets, uh, built-in widgets, understanding built layouts widgets, and we also cover uh, how to create a uh, custom uh, widgets. So as uh, nodes, uh, that's my complex. Actually, widgets is uh, something which is used to design a uh, user interface, a layout, how your application look like. Uh, taking an example of how uh, different apps, for example, SIM banking, uh, the M-Pesa app, uh, Simba app, for example, Younger app, and many, many other apps, uh, mobile apps, you know. So if you see their interface, their user interface, uh, how they look like. So that's uh, exactly uh, which case we are uh, talking about. So you say uh, you can also design uh, those uh, uh, widgets or user interface uh, using uh, Flutter. So actually Flutter, it incorporates a user interface layout functionality into uh, widgets uh, itself. So we say uh, Flutter provides a quite a lot of uh, special design widgets uh, like container, uh, center alignment, left, right, uh, top or bottom uh, uh, positions only for the purpose of laying out the user interface of the mobile app. So widgets built by composing other widgets normally are using uh, layout widgets. So they are actually pieces uh, that form the user interface. So they are the code representation of what is visible uh, to the user or to the customer of that uh, mobile app. So the user interface will uh, certainly change during the lifetime or uh, life cycle of any mobile uh, application. And this way now it comes uh, the categories or types of uh, uh, Flutter widgets. So we have the uh, single child or stateless uh, uh, widgets, and then we have the multiple child or stateful uh, widgets. So the uh, difference is that uh, on how uh, you uh, developer uh, uh, to choose or, uh, based on uh, which kind, for example, of uh, mobile app you are designing, uh, where uh, this mobile app is going to be used in which situation, for example, uh, in which context your mobile app uh, is going to be uh, used. So uh, we have uh, those two types. So we have single child or stateless and then state uh, widgets. And this are uh, how uh, the stateless or child uh, widgets uh, look like. So it's the child or stateless widgets, they actually uh, draw their properties or description from the parent. Uh, widget. So uh, we say it's typical user interface uh, composed of many widgets and some of them will never, those many widgets are the uh, children or a child uh, uh, widget of which some of them will never change their properties after being uh, instantiated. Uh, while uh, a stateful widget, uh, they receive a description from their parents that persists during a widget's uh, uh, lifetime. So that's the uh, difference between a uh, state and a uh, stateless widget. And then we say on state widgets, 
So the widgets lifetime uh, uh, state widgets are meant to change their description dynamically during their uh, life cycle or uh, a working of the mobile app. And this just uh, a, a snapshot or picture uh, showing uh, how the uh, state uh, would get uh, look like. So you have, for example, the parent would get, you have properties, uh, would get, you have initial description, and then you have a child uh, uh, would get, you might have, for example, another uh, uh, child would get, then transfer initial description from uh, this child uh, would get uh, to uh, another uh, widget. You have rebuilds to reflect new state description. So the state can change uh, in state for a widget, as I said uh, before. Uh, uh, so you have uh, 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 this uh, state change event, for example, if you are clicking on, say, on a certain button on a mobile app, for example, in PESA, uh, you want maybe to check uh, the balance. Uh, so you uh, change the uh, 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 description or you change properly, you change the state of, of the uh, child uh, uh, widget. Now uh, uh, we have uh, different codes. So uh, as we started uh, before in the first, second or third session, I uh, said that you should uh, know uh, that programming language in order to be a very, very uh, good mobile app developer. So I hope uh, uh, everyone, uh, all of you, you have gone through uh, the that programming language you have, thus uh, you have the basics of that language so that you can uh, start now developing uh, different mobile apps. So I wish I will go through uh, different uh, codes in the next slides. Uh, for example, starting with the single child widgets and how uh, they works uh, uh, based on patterns, uh, different labels uh, uh, that you can uh, create yeah, in a mobile app. So it's just a simple uh, class. Uh, 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 for example, you have class my bottom extend a stateless widget. You have my bottom, uh, my button uh, key. Uh, you have the super key here. You have widget build. This is a method uh, uh, which is uh, within this class. And then you have return container. And then you have uh, these descriptions here. You have a child. Uh, container now child uh, this is a parent uh, a class you can say this is a parent uh, widget and then you have child widget uh, which is a container so we see uh, different types of uh, uh, child widgets you have container and and others uh, you have the padding you have construct uh, you have age uh, insert and uh, this description you see uh, the uh, functionality of all these uh, 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 elements. Now we say the padding, for example, uh, is used to arrange its child uh, widget by the given padding. Here, padding can be provided by uh, age instead of uh, class. Uh, so we have align. The align, uh, align its child widget within itself using the value of alignment property. Can be a left, uh, right alignment, so the value for alignment property can be provided by a fractional offset uh, class. So you see different uh, types of fractional offset class, uh, which can be arranged uh, in uh, this, uh, uh, this format. So you have 1.0, you have 0.0, uh, dot zero which represents the top right. So if you uh, place of your position, your fractional offsets uh, in this way, 1.0 and 1.2 and 0 0.0, .0 mean that you want to uh, 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 position your child uh, at the uh, top right. And then you have fractional offset. This is 0 0.0, uh, comma 1 1.0, of course, just changing the positions of these numbers. So this represents the bottom uh, uh, left. So uh, if you uh, go back to the age insets, uh, and then uh, the uh, fractional uh, offset uh, is uh, indicated in the uh, next 
uh, uh, example here, you have also the fitted box. Uh, the fitted box uh, scales the child will get then positions according to the specified fit. You have aspect ratio. Uh, this attempts to size the child will get to the specified aspect ratio. You have constraint box. You have uh, baseline. You have fractional uh, size box. You have intrinsic height. You have intrinsic width. You have limited box, off stage, overflow box, size box, size overflow box, transform, custom single child layout. Uh, which uh, they all, of course, belong to the uh, aspect uh, ratio context. And then you have the container and center. So the container and center, as I said in the uh, previous uh, slide, uh, the container uh, and center are, of course, examples of uh, child uh, or single child widgets, uh, which uh, where you want uh, which kind of uh, widget. Uh, you want to use. So we have a uh, container uh, child widgets, and then you have a uh, center uh, a child widgets. So uh, in the context of container, we say this is a generic single child box based uh, container widget with alignment uh, using padding, border, and margin along with rich styling uh, features. Uh, in the context of center, you have uh, this is a simple single child container widget which centers is child uh, uh, widget. So the center just uh, position your child widget at the center where the container uh, just uh, align uh, your widget using padding, border and margin along with rich uh, styling uh, uh, features. And uh, you have, uh, we have this example of a simple application uh, using Hello World, of course, we created this uh, from lesson one and two as an example. So you can uh, uh, create uh, this kind of uh, a widget uh, using uh, these uh, codes uh, here. Uh, so you have class, my app extend stateless widget, and then you have uh, the uh, widget build. This is just a method. Uh, return my homepage. This is the title of our simple mobile app. That's Hello World uh, demo app. And this is the one which is uh, displayed uh, there. But it should be a Hello World uh, demo uh, app. This just codes to uh, demonstrate. Uh, so we have a class. This is my homepage, uh, extend stateless widget. And then we have my homepage. This is key, uh, key, uh, this the title. So I uh, hope you are familiar with this if you have gone through uh, uh, lesson one, two, three, uh, and four. So this is how actually you can create uh, a simple uh, widget, actually a user interface. And this is the user interface that someone, a user uh, or a customer will see uh, while using this uh, smart uh, smartphone. Uh, in Android, of course, or in iPhone based uh, mobile, uh, uh, phones. And then uh, coming to advanced layout application. So we have uh, created my homepage, uh, which displays the Hello World uh, uh, text. Uh, uh, now in terms of advanced layout uh, application, uh, you can design, you can create, uh, for example, multiple uh, buttons, different buttons, different user interface, different layouts uh, in Android or iPhone based mobile uh, phones. So uh, uh, now let's take uh, a look on how you can uh, create, for example, a product box uh, according to the specified design as shown uh, below. So this is uh, a codes. Uh, these are the codes uh, for creating uh, the product box, which you see uh, in the next slide. So you have uh, all this class, so you can just copy this uh, text and uh, actually uh, paste them and run uh, in the Flutter uh, uh, development, uh, development environment and see uh, what happens. And this is the output that you, uh, that you see. I think it is, uh, so this is the output uh, you see. Uh, so you can run this uh, code, line of codes, and see the outputs uh, 
thus the output that will be uh, displayed. So in terms of description, uh, so we say the product. So the product box has used four arguments as specified uh, below. So you have the name, product name, you have description, product description, you have price, uh, price of the product, you have image, uh, image uh, of the image of the product, and then you have product box, uh, which you use seven built uh, with gets as specified below. You have container, expanded row, you have column, card, text, and then you have uh, uh, image. So the product box is designed using the above mentioned widget. The arrangement or hierarchy of the widget is specified in the diagram shown below. So this is uh, 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 the design of the uh, of the product uh, box uh, uh, example uh, in the as uh, shown in the previous slide. So you have the container, you have card, you have row, a row which is divided into image and expanded. You have container. You have column, a column which is of course divided into text. You have text, and then you have text. So you have three texts uh, from the uh, column uh, attribute. And uh, of course, uh, this is my uh, last uh, picture. Uh, in the uh, in my uh, every session. So this marks the end of my uh, presentation. Thank you very much for attending. Once again, thank you, thank you. So if there's any question, please, uh, you can just drop me my email uh, or you can uh, just uh, ask uh, your question through the chat.